So it says in the Bible, I have been dealing with sensory neuropathy, my body created cancer cells, whatever. All, all is perished in my life, like all my sins and my hate and my freedom is dwelling upon my soul. But then the call of Ezekiel, then he said unto me, son of man, stand on your own feet. I will speak to you. When he spoke to me, the spirit entered me and let me set on my own feet. Then I heard him speaking to me. And he said to me, son of man, I send you to the sons of Israel. Now, I just went to a temple today, which um, I felt like I was in the land of Israel because it was on the mountains, hidden by rocks. You know, you know what it goes down to. But anyway, like, being glory of the Lord in his place. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another and the noise of the wheels beside them, even a great rushing sound. You know, we might have been driving around and doing a couple donuts <laughs> in the snow because, you know, but all right, snow. I want to let everybody know snow actually it covers all sins. It's a new beginning. Wash away your sins. White it out. Take a white piece of paper. White it out. What did I just get done doing? Okay. Now, a little bit of it is my paint. The E and the I is Ezekiel, and the I is Isaiah. And there's three white lines on the rock that I did not do. Raise your hand up to the mighty Lord. Raise your hands up to Jesus. Again... When a righteous man turns from his righteousness, he commits iniquity. So, the hand of the Lord was upon me there, and he said to me, Rise, go out onto the plan, and I will talk with you there. So what it says to me, what it means to me is the Lord's always with me. I rose and I went out into the plan. And the glory of the world and the Lord stood there as the glory which I saw by the river of Kabar and I fell on my face. <laughs> You know, it's it's so simple to love yourself. It sounds simple. It is simple. But when you don't love yourself, you want to love one another. The Spirit entered me and it set me on my feet. Feet. Yeah, okay. And it set me on my feet. And I spoke and I said to me, Oh God, shut yourself up within your house. They shall put bands on you and shall bind you with them. Like what that means is when you start speaking the praise and the message of the Lord, people, they won't get you. They won't. They won't understand you. They're afraid. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But thus says the Lord, O oh God, he who hears, let him hear. And he who refuses, let him refuse. For they are rebellious 
horses. You're also a son of man. Take a brick and lay it before you and inscribe a city on it, even Jerusalem. Now, what did I do today? I went to the land of Jerusalem. The land of Jerusalem, to me, was a temple. It was a church in far distance, you know. So we went there, and I spoke my peace to the mighty Lord. I want you all to love yourself. Thus says the Lord, a disaster, a singular disaster is coming. An end is coming. An end has come. It watches for you. It has come. Your dorm has to come. Oh, inhabit the land. The time that has come, the day of the trouble is near. And not the joyful shouting on the mountains. Now I shortly pour out my fury upon you, fury upon you, and accomplishing my anger upon you, and I will judge you according to you, your ways, and I will recompose you of all your accommodations. Like, it, 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 it simply says... <sighs> We, we all dislike ourselves. We all dislike ourselves. Like, I get it. I just want everybody to bless themselves. My eyes shall not spare. Nor will I have pity. But I will recompose their way upon their heads. Then the man clothed with linen who had the case, but he side reported the matter. <laughs> you people, like, I beg you, please read the Bible. 